Hello, in this lecture demonstration video, what I'd like to do is show you how to strike an arc and get your puddle started. So let's go ahead and get down on the table so I can show you how everything's going to work. Now there's two different ways to strike an arc. There's either a scratch style or a tap style. Now the scratch style is going to be a little bit easier and it's the one I would probably suggest for you to start doing as a student. Later on, probably by the end of the class, you will be able to tap start your rods. Now, how you scratch start is in the electrode holder, and I'm going to go grab one. Ah, there we go. So we got our rod in the, the rod holder. So what I'm going to do for the scratch style is I'm just going to go ahead and lightly drag my rod and then lift up at the end. Now notice when I said lift up, I didn't come up about a half inch. I came up about maybe an eighth inch. So we're going to start. We're going to drag it about an inch and then be kind of pulling up at the end of that inch. And then what will happen is that arc will start and as you start rising up, it will start gaining some momentum and it will actually really jump that uh, gap and give you a nice arc. Now for the tap style, what we would do is you would just tap it really lightly and quickly. So what will happen is you tap it, raise it back up about an eighth inch because that's about what your arc length should be. So you just want to tap it, rise it up. So now if by chance you actually got your welding rod um, welded to the table because if you're going too slow what will happen is your rod will weld to the table or if you're when you're when you're tap starting it if you stay too long it'll weld to the table. So what happens is if you get it welded to the table what I'd like to see you do is you can quickly kind of twist your wrist and give it a a yank and it might pop off. If it doesn't do that pretty quickly, I want you to unhook the electrode holder and then go ahead and break that rod off with your hands. So let me go ahead and we're going to try to demonstrate some of these so you can see them in real life. The hard part is in the video because we're going from a light to a dark, we're not going to be able to see everything. So let me go ahead and try to show you as best I can. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a scratch start. So the next thing I want to show you is how to tap start it. So we're just going to tap it, quickly pull away. 